Hi everybody, welcome to My Big Tidy Up. My name is Dee Dee. Thanks for tuning into my channel today. Now today, before I go any further, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a disclaimer. This video is probably gonna be all over the place. And why, you ask? Well, it's basically a day in the life and my life tends to be all over the place. So if you've tuned in looking for a specific type of motivation, I might be able to cover you today because I am doing all the things. Do you need some laundry motivation? I'll be doing some of that. Do you need some shopping, restocking, refilling motivation? I'll be doing some of that. Some cleaning? Oh yes, I've got some of that to do. Do you have an organization project you need to do? Well, so do I. I'll be doing that today as well. And last but not least, I'm even gonna whip something up in the kitchen. Now hold on, don't be thinking I'm gonna mastermind some great meal. You know when I say I'm gonna do like a DIY project and it really is just kind of like spray painting? Well, that's what I'm gonna whip up in the kitchen. I'm basically gonna cut some vegetables and open some cans, but it's gonna come together for something that's so delicious that I think you guys will enjoy. So without any further ado, I'm gonna grab my keys. Let's get this day started and let's get tidy. And away we go, friends. Now the weather, she is looking a little ominous right now. It's starting to sprinkle, but I'm hoping that I can get to Walmart and get back in time before it gets bad. And here's the thing, I actually did have a little cleaning project I wanted to do outside today, but you know, that's how it goes for me. If I'm gonna decorate, if I'm gonna clean, if I'm gonna do anything outside, the weather, she's gonna decide to be dicey on me. Well, I'm hoping to make this a quick trip. I have a short list and I plan on sticking to it. And one way that I'm gonna guarantee that I can get out of here quicker is just to stay on the food side. It's like I come in for food and then I start wandering around to other parts of Walmart and that's when I get in trouble. So it's food only and then I'm out the door. Okay, Tidy Uppers, random question for you. Does anyone else like rice cakes? Because according to my husband, I'm the only one in the world that must like these because why would I want to eat styrofoam? I beg your pardon, they do not taste like styrofoam. Maybe packing peanuts, but not styrofoam. Well, it did take me a little bit longer to get out of Walmart than I thought. It only took me about five minutes to find the things, but the checkout process, almost 15 minutes, and we'll just leave it at that. But it's probably a good thing because it looks like I missed the first round of rain.
Well, I have everything from Walmart put away since there really wasn't that much, except for the soup crackers because I do keep them out here in this makeshift pantry. But I do have all of this I need to put away. We shopped at Sam's, it was late, so we just left it here and I knew that I would tackle it today because I definitely need to restock this pantry. I have a lot of things that we use all the time that I'm completely out of. So I need to go ahead and get this restocked and refilled so we're good to go. And actually there's a couple of things from Sam's that I have to have for my recipe today. So I definitely need to get this restocked. But before I do that, I am gonna go ahead and tend to my laundry. I have a little tiny load I need to fold in the dryer. And then I do have a bleach load here that I need to start. And I like to do my laundry at the beginning of the day. That way I'm not stuck just waiting on it to finish at the end of the day or in the evening when I'm wanting to do something else. Yes, I am retrieving one of the white towels back out of the washer so that I can kind of put a barrier between me and where I'm going to pour the bleach in. Now the bottles do say splash free bottles, but you know what? Liar, liar, pants on fire. That is a lie. It splashes every single time. At least for me it does. Well, this will take care of the laundry for a while, and it's time to get restocking and refilling. Don't need nobody's attention Yeah, we just wanna dance on our own 
Well, next up, welcome to Dee Dee's Cooking Show. No, not really. But what I'm gonna be doing is making a Mexican bean salad. And this is so delicious. I had a dear friend show me this recipe. Oh, I don't know if she's watching. How long was it? Maybe 10 years ago. And we had it at her home and it has never failed. It's so super simple. It's really delicious. And here I'm showing you most of the ingredients and just a few vegetables that my husband harvested from his garden for me. So really all you're gonna take is like the Mexicorn or I get the generic kind, the corn and diced peppers. And I'm doing a double batch because I'm taking part of it to my son's home tomorrow. But you're gonna have one can of the Mexicorn, one can of black beans, rinsed and drained, Rotel, and you can pick how much you wanna drain it. If you want it more like a dip, a little wetter, then you keep the liquid. Or if you're wanting it as a filling for like enchiladas, then you can drain more of it off. You just put a little bit of Italian dressing to taste and chop up one green onion and a small bell pepper. And so I'm just gonna be chopping all of this up, opening these cans, mixing it together, and I'm doing it now so it can go ahead and chill, but I'm telling you, you can get so many uses out of this. A dip, a filling, a side with Mexican food, it's just a great recipe. Now, when I double this recipe, I drain both cans of corn, but as far as the Rotel goes, I drain one can of the Rotel and the other can, I keep all of the juice. That way you get all of the flavor, but it doesn't get too soupy. Next up, two cans of black beans. I'll go ahead and drain and rinse these. And while they're kind of draining off all of the water, I'll go ahead and cut up the green onion and bell pepper. Now, while I'm preparing this recipe today, I'm actually using a few kitchen items that I don't use that much anymore because I've replaced them with a few new items from Amazon that are either a little bit more convenient or they save me a little bit more time. And so I thought about using them today, but I think I have enough. I'm actually just gonna put them all together in a future video because you guys always enjoy my Amazon favorites. So keep your eye out for that. There'll be an Amazon kitchen favorite headed your way before you know it. And on a side note, guys, when I share a lot of my favorites with you, they aren't affiliates. I don't get paid. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to share things that make my life a little bit more convenient, and maybe they'll make your life a little bit more convenient too. Oh, and back to the recipe. Yes, that was Italian dressing I threw in. Well, it's time for my cleaning project. And actually I had two projects I wanted to do today. One of them was outside washing my windows, but that will not happen today means it is still raining and it's getting worse. However, the main cleaning project is down in the basement and the rain isn't gonna save me. So let's head on in and I'll at least get that done today. Well, friends, here is the cleaning project that I am not looking forward to today and it's cleaning the workout room. Now, honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't like cleaning this room anyway on a good day, but today is probably gonna be especially unpleasant because yesterday they were here and they changed our belt. It was kind of acting funny. It was still under warranty and they said, let us just come and trade the belt out. So they did and they were so nice and so helpful. But when they were here, they pulled all this apart and they blew out the motor inside of this, I guess. And so what I have is like black rubber residue, probably from the old belt that was wearing out, and it is everywhere. And when I mean it's everywhere, it's up top here on this machine. I have no doubt it's probably made its way to the television, the other machines. So instead of pouting about it, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put on some happy music, and I'm just gonna start working from the top to the bottom 
wiping everything down, wiping all the machines down. I'll get the old school vacuum with the nozzle, try to get around here and get everything. And I'm just gonna let the music carry me to the end and I'm just gonna get it done. And then I can do my organizing project because you know, that's my favorite. Now earlier when I mentioned I would probably have to clean this room from top to bottom because everything would be covered with that black rubber residue. Well, after I said that, I thought, oh, Dee Dee, you're being a little bit melodramatic. But now that I'm doing it, no, I wasn't being melodramatic. It is covered because you can see where I've cleaned and where I haven't, and that's what everything looks like. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. Well, the room is done. And although I'm starting to sound like a broken record, this took me a little bit longer than I thought it would. You know, this seems to be a reoccurring theme today. Things are just taking me a little bit longer to get done, but I'm getting them done. And although it's hard to see, I guarantee you this room is clean from top to bottom. And you know, I worked hard enough in here. I think I can count that as a workout. I think that's fair. So. I'm out of here to finish my laundry and start my organizing project. Well, now it's time for my organizing project and where I'm going to organize are behind these cabinet doors and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fix the mess, but I did bring some containers down from upstairs into my big tidy up closet. Now I've had these containers with the bamboo lids. I got them as a gift. I love them, but I've never found a perfect place for them. So underneath here may be the perfect place. And I also have these little clear shoe boxes with the lids. And if you guys have been with me for a while, you probably remember seeing these. I took these to my very first My Big Tidy Up on the go, I think, but I didn't end up using them. And I got these from the Dollar Tree, you know, like back in the day when they were really, it was a dollar. And so I might use those. Maybe I'll use a combination of the both, but let me show you what needs help. Now underneath here, we've always kept games and puzzles. And this first cabinet, you can see, that's still happening. But the further we go, the more of a mess it becomes. I've still got puzzles and games on the top, but I've got a lot of different activities here for my grandson. I used to just have colors and markers and paper. 
but some of my dearest friends are in education. So I've got a lot of things they've given me for different activities, sensory bottles, just different things that we can do. And so I really need to get this organized. Not sure how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna pull it all out and we'll just take it from there. You were passing by, surrounded by all those butterflies. Suddenly they flew right in my heart. Must have looked like a living piece of art. From the moment I knew, I knew that it would be you. Yeah, from that moment I knew, I knew it could only be you. I wrote your name up on my wall, circled in an arrow heart. Somehow you made me feel whole. I wouldn't have to be alone. No, I would never be alone. Now I really would like to use these totes with the bamboo lids, but before I start filling everything and totally commit to it, I wanna see if I can stack them too high and slide them underneath, because if I have to move that shelf with all of those games, I'm gonna change my plan because I am not gonna be doing that today, that's for sure. Well, I'm able to stack the containers, so that's definitely the way I'm gonna go. I don't know that I'm gonna use all of the big containers, but I am gonna use some of them, and I'm also gonna use some of these small shoe boxes for individual activities. So I'll put a lot of different things in the big containers, but I'll have different little activities set up in each little clear shoe box, so when little people open that cabinet, they can pick out a fun activity. And then I'll just alternate things and switch things up, and every so often, just change the little shoe boxes out to keep the activities new. Now here is the after. Now I didn't use all of the containers I brought downstairs, so I am gonna take the ones I brought down back up to the tidy up closet. These other things, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with those except for the little white dish tubs. Since we do have activities with water, I think I'm gonna keep those and I'm just gonna put them underneath here, underneath the kitchen sink. But let me show you what I came up with. Well, Tidy Uppers, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as I went through kind of my random chaotic day. And I hope this video gave you some inspiration or some motivation to kind of tackle some of those random chaotic things you may have on your list. But remember, if you do not complete your list today, no worries, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your paper and you're gonna do this. You're gonna crinkle it up, throw it in the trash, get a new paper and start again tomorrow. Or if you're a person that does your list on your phone, you're gonna do this, swipe, delete. See how easy that was? Crinkle or swipe and you can start again tomorrow. We will get the things done eventually. I appreciate you joining me today. Please take care of yourself. And until I see you in the next one, stay tidy.